This is a short video offering some information that the news media will not openly disclose. This situation has been labeled as a modern day lynching, a black man hunted down and murdered by white men, and also they described it as saying it's unsafe to go jogging if you are black. We see that the media chooses to select a high school photo for Arbery instead of a more recent mugshot photo of Arbery. This is the father and the son involved in the incident. The father on the left is Gregory McMichael. The son on the right is Travis McMichael. They will be referred to as father and son for ease of reporting in this incident. Here's some information excluded from being reported. The McMichaels made two 9-11 calls before the incident concluded, stating that they were following a burglary suspect giving their location. How many times have we heard of murderers calling 9-11 to report the murder they plan on committing? Arbery, who has a criminal history, was previously in the same house he was in on the day he was shot. The owners of the house claim they have fishing gear stolen from that house before. Here is a video of Arbery previously in that same house at nighttime. Here is a video of Arbery out on his jog, not jogging, but walking around into the house under construction while appearing to walk around on the property. Arbery, who wasn't jogging, stopped at a house that items had previously been stolen from and that he had already been in before. This is a video of Arbery, who is being reported as a burglar for entering the house on the day that he was shot. This is an important clip of video that may show Aubrey's intent and his overall mentality in this process for reasons we do not know. This is the McMichael father and son stopped in the road in front of Arbery. Arbery is running now and sees the son open the truck door and get out with a gun. Arbery chooses not to run the other way, but runs at the son for a brief moment before he changes course and runs up the passenger side of the truck and confronts the son in the front area of the truck. The son with the shotgun, when confronted, backs up and the struggle for the shotgun ensues. In the still photo, notice the 50-50 position of both individuals having control of the gun. The son discharges the shotgun three times. Once in front of the truck, out of frame. Second time to the left, out of frame. And the third time, Aubrey is striking the son. Sun fires the third and fatal blow. In conclusion, if any one of these three would have used better judgment, we would not have had this sad ending. There was opportunities for all involved to circumvent the outcome that we just saw. Thank you for watching.